how were you introduced to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Tell us about that and how you came to join the church. Um, you know, when we moved from Mile City, which I was about 14, and I remember really being excited to move away because the little town that I had grown up in, um, it was pretty wild. I mean, I'd, I'd seen a lot of things that I didn't really care to see. Um, you know, a couple of my friends drinking to where they had to get their stomachs pumped and almost dying. Mm. And um, my own brother had some struggles with drugs. And, and I saw a lot of anguish with my parents. And, and that was scary to grow up. So I remember when I first found out we were moving to Utah, and I knew there was a lot of Mormons here, and I knew that they didn't drink and smoke. I was kind of excited. Yeah. I thought, oh, there's people that think like I do, and that'll be, you know, that's kind of a dumb thing, but it was... Um, but you were quite but young. It, but it was something that, that was very attractive about the church to me, mm -hmm. is the lifestyle, the family, you know. I, I felt that my family was um, close, but um, not as involved. You know, I liked how the LDS church was so family oriented and so, you know, the how everyone cared for one another more. I I had friends that were LDS and they started to talk to me. But at first I was really, nope, I'm Catholic and I'm I'm good. I don't have to be LDS to Did you not know a lot about the smoke. church in Montana? I didn't know anything. So I you, had heard of Mormons. Okay. That's all. Just heard that I'd you heard didn't that know. they didn't drink and smoke and didn't drink coffee. Okay. And, that was really all I knew. So after you and, moved And here, I actually had a neighbor that was Mormon. Um, okay. And actually, I had been invited to primary when I was young, but my parents wouldn't allow me to go at the time. Oh. And okay. then I had friends start to ask me more questions. Um, and then I dated uh, a boy that was LDS, and he talked to me a little more about the church. And it was really his family that invited me when I was probably 16 to have— um, just, you know, the missionaries in a family home evening. Right. And um, At his home. And ha at his home. And I used to watch people and know that they had something that, you know, I was just always attracted to that, that you know, it's a, the light thing. I think mm -hmm. we're really attracted to light. And I remember specifically some people in high school that I thought really lived the gospel, and they, um, I wanted to know you know, they seemed to have something that I wanted. Mm -hmm. When you joined the church, uh, how did your parents react? Well, I... It wasn't till later, was it? I, I had the missionary discussions, and I had an experience. I had actually um, a couple of missionaries, but there was one particular missionary, and this is what been fun. As my kids have decided to serve missions, we always joke about where everyone's going to go, and and I always tease them about two things, really. I say, well, someone had to teach me in Ephraim, Utah, so someone had to go there. And then the other thing was that I do believe there's someone special. Wherever you go, there is probably a specific person that maybe you will relate to and you will touch yeah. their lives more than anyone else could. And that's the case for me. There was one young man, and he was actually a little older than the normal missionary. I think he was 24 at the time. Mm -hmm and was a convert, and had been a Catholic. And he was able to really, all my objectives and all my all my pride had to go out the window with him. And I was real mad at him, actually. I drove home crying, because he really challenged me to pray. Well, pray about it. Don't take my word, pray about it. And I was like, I know he's going to be wrong, you know, because I was, when we admit that something's right and better, we have to make changes. And I was scared of that, and I was terrified to tell my parents. And But I did go home and pray, and I, I had an overwhelming um, answer to my prayers, which I've had to go back to many times. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I've often believed that Heavenly Father gives us the answers to the degree that we need them, because so, sometimes we have to go back and remember why we did what we did when things get hard. But, um, yeah, I had— a couple of my friends decided to go to Snow College, and I hadn't really thought about college too much, but I just had this really strong feeling that I needed to go there. And I went there, and for like two days, I walked around, and it was almost like straight deja vu. Like, everywhere I went, every person I met, every everything I looked at, it was like, I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. It was overwhelming to where it brought me to tears, and 
one of my roommates was saying, what is wrong with you? And the other one said, it's what's right, huh? And I was like, yes. And I just knew. And, and so a lot of things fell in place. And I was then baptized. And at that time, I was 18 and old enough to make my own decision.